James Inc. of Wet Podcast from Griffin and Nick on Polygon. Hey. I'm Griffin. I'm Nick Robinson. We displace so much water. A tremendous amount of water wow. from the hot tub. Let's wait. Let's because no. it's an audio issue and an I embarrassment it's, issue. It's, all, it's not that bad. No, there's people calculating at home, like that's 10 liters yeah. so together <laughs> these boys weigh well, X. This is a white t-shirt, which I've just realized. Well, I'm is seeing a lot be... of forearm skin. <laughs> and kind of the deeper you get. The, the more, more boy, the more boy you see. Yeah, um, I don't remember this pool being so deep. Should we read the suggestions that people sent to how yeah. to improve the really bullshit games that we saw at the E3 this year? That's, I think it's a great plan. Uh, we got a lot of submissions. Thank you if uh, if you follow us on twittercom inc. Yeah, uh, we took some Twitter submissions as kind of a little TBT, uh, and let's look at them together, you and I. I know that half of them had to do about just saying real mean stuff about. Uh, Theodore Howard. Um, I th well, it's more, I think it's the absence makes the heart grow fonder. And since we didn't see him at Bethesda's press conference, he went missing. People were like, Where's Todd? That's and the new Elder Scroll 6. Todd is missing. <laughs> you gotta go on a historical. Todd mystery. Uh, what do you think about a game uh, where Mario, this is from Bearplane 3D on this Twitter. This is really just hugging me. Here's a game from Bearplane 3D who says Mario has possessed a human body, as we saw in that trailer. Mario Odyssey, but he does not want to be found. Lure him out of hiding and get him back to the Mushroom Kingdom. So I guess the idea is, you're in New Donk City. Yeah. Humans everywhere. Yeah. But one of them secretly Mario. Mm. What kind of tests could we do to kind of sort out, separate the wheat from the chaff in terms of the Mario and non-Mario? What are some things Mario? Would Ask him a question only Mario wouldn't know. Like, what do mushrooms not taste like? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we could, um... What is, what's, what's it not feel like to be on Yoshi's strong back? Aren't mustaches bad? And if he says, like, <laughs> no, then you, kill, you the shoot voice, him. The voice, just getting him to talk at all, I think, is going to be fundamental. He never talks a different way. Mm -mm. You never hear Mario in one of these games, and he's like, I. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> yeah. always the same. That's funny, isn't it? It is interesting. This is what, I've been trying to get to the bottom of this for a while. Is Mario smart? <laughs> or is Mario dumb? I think Mario might be a dumb guy. Like, he's a stupid person. He's not very smart because he's... Well, let's think about this. He knows how to fly with a hat. He knows how to fly with a magical hat. I mean, I know I like to think... I, like, I, I was in talented and gifted classes in elementary school. Yeah. I can't fly around with a magic hat. And I've thought about how to do it, and I haven't cracked the <laughs> fucking code yet. It's got wings on it. Like, that's how you do it. Shoots fireballs out of his mouth. I don't know. The, these to... aren't intelligent things. These are just mutations. <laughs> like, that's these, a good like, point. These are not. You don't get credit for any of these. Um, he's he's beloved. He he's seems to have some sort so of leadership position. None of these things the... make him smart, is what I'm saying. Like he, the sentences he says. He says, "I'm a tired," and goes to bed. That like, is that's true. not a smart guy thing to do. I don't know any geniuses who do that. <laughs> what if Mario's not smart? I think Mario might be unintelligent. Is what I'm saying. Luigi doesn't even say words most of the time. <laughs> what does that mean? Is yeah. Wario... Who's smarter, Wario or Mario? You tell me that I now. think Wario is more articulate than Mario. And if that's our criteria, then he's way, way smarter. Yeah. Um, do you have any... Actually, you want to bring in our first guest? Yeah, let's get... Who wants to get in the pool? They're all <laughs> to get each other. Every, who's first? Who's on first? Clayton? Clayton? Welcome, Clayton, Ashley. Clayton, you... Edit. Oh, wait, listen. Oh. How much Clayton is? Not that many splashes. He's four splashes? Oh... The beard was two splashes too alone. Much. Clayton, you edit Cool Games Inc. I do, I'm the graphics king. You're the graphics king of CGI. I brought them along with me. Let's just get you on the in the, the writer's room on this one. It's from Marshall. Uh, that's Key P3R. Keeper says, Gotta beat Nintendo to that magic hat money. Game's called Jimmy the Jumper, and he puts his hat on things. Maybe the hat's magic? Alright. Mm -hmm. And so the, the whole goal is to get this out before October, right? That's uh, the, yeah, that's a tight time frame. As, as, as somebody who I has mean, recently published a Mario game, that's a tough one. That is tough. Well, Mass Effect Andromeda was made in like a week and a half, right? So I think we could... Mean. We could squeak, <laughs> some, we could squeak something out. What kind of hat is a jumper? No, Jimmy the Jumper is the person who... Right. Oh, uh, is the Mario. The, Much like how wizard, Mario the Jumper is the guy from Mario. His wizard grandpa gave him the hat, and the hat lets him... I'm just obsessed with this idea of just stealing a person's life. <laughs> just talented Mr. Rippling, just some poor race car driver on the street. Yeah. The so, pool is trying to eat me. Wednesday Bryan, Count Corgula, said, Game where you have to defeat Todd Howard before he releases Skyrim again. <laughs> I, I feel like people maybe don't understand how games get made. I don't think Todd Howard's in a room just like... You... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing kind of a fun... Do you think if I went under the water, 
I would oh, drink shit. the beer. Oh, shit. You gotta try it now. Hold on, let's place bets. Will the beer get in the mouth or the water get in the boy? I gotta breathe out through my nose and suck in through my Deep mouth. Deep breath right now. <laughs> Here I go. Fuck, I feel like I'm really gonna drown for real. <laughs> <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Do you think Todd Howard plays Skyrim every day? God, no. It's... <laughs> No, 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 listen. Do you think he wakes up and he turns it on and he's like, time to get back into this big world. I can't believe I made it. <laughs> I can't. Every t if I was Todd Howard, I would re-release Skyrim on every platform I could because every time I went in that motherfucker, I climbed a mountain and I was like, oh, I did this! I made this. This is my world. Skyrim's a game where you can yell at a dragon so loud it dies. Yeah. I made this! Yes! I want to do this on all of them. If you made Earth... And you were God, which, by the way, God rocks yeah, with Todd, but and like, there's a joke there. Uh -huh. Wouldn't you want to, like, walk around and just be like, what is this? Scotland? Fuck yeah, this rules. <laughs> I did this, Fjord? Earth has way better combat than Skyrim does. <laughs> like, I'd be proud of Earth. All right, Clayton, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Pat, get wet. Get wet. Our, our EP, Tara, told me I look like a Far Cry 5 NPC. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay, so Pat equals slightly more than one Clayton. <laughs> Interesting. Just a hair, a hair more water went over the edge. Uh, hi, Pat. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Xbox One E. Collect all three Xbox One editions for a hilarious gag that will impress your friends. Okay. <laughs> so you get that. Outside would it be your friends come over and like, why the fuck do you have three Xbox Ones? You're like, no, 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 no. Look at what the letters do and it's still gonna take him a long time <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> i just i just got See, it that's exactly we yeah, just saw it in yeah, real yeah. time that's a you'd thinker. be like you'd be like jeremy this cost you twelve hundred dollars son well you only and there's only two games on xbox and my, it's like no 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 sex i'll be it. honest my concern is that the xbox one s is bigger than the xbox one x and it would so crush it. The, 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 yeah, it could. It's going to be an inverse pyramid. Uh, I had an, I had oh an idea for a game today. I was taking. Oh, sorry. I just put my I put my foot on the suckle. Oh yeah, let's yeah, not talk about be that. Careful. Though. Oh, cool. <laughs> spooky, me, spooky. Me. I was taking a look at the the um, Sony Sony Bend original title, um, uh, Days Gone. It's uh, the the biker, biker. Days Gone by the Dirty Vegas game. The Dirty <laughs> Vegas sim. <laughs> it's and it's the the biker sim, and they're talking about how loud noises are going to attract attract zombies and I was thinking of how hard that must be for a biker because what a biker's like. He's got the loudest car they make. A hog. Like a, <laughs> they do like loud engines. Yeah. They're like a loud hog so just imagining a game where... You like, try to make the quietest hog? <laughs> you try to make the quietest Is that hog. what you were going to say Pat? The quiet yeah. hog game? Yeah. So the the but whole like, game is optimizing so you replace the seat cushions with pillows. Mm -hmm. You replace the engine with mm -hmm. maybe a, I mean like a Toyota, like a Prius a engine. A Prius engine, an electric hog. What can we turn the do with the tires? What's a, maybe like a soft cake? A soft cake, a wheel of cheese. A wheel of cheese would be funny. Okay, and, you guys are just literally describing Little Big Planet. Right. Can you tell camera what you told us about what the zombies are called and what your phone <laughs> wanted to call them? Because it made me laugh so hard that I almost fell in the pool. Sure. You, you need, when you make a zombie game, you need a cool name for your zombies. The infected, the runners. Um, or in this case, just the first one that kind of pops up. Freakers? They're called Is that freakers? what they're called? Yeah, yeah they're called Freakers That's in Days Gone. That's very silly. And I, was, I, I was in the press conference, and I was typing that into my phone so I could remember how good it was, and my phone autocorrects it to Creamers? <laughs> oh, we got a big pack of Creamers hopping the fence! <laughs> Grab your rifles. <laughs> uh, Wait a second, that's a, that's a creamer bear. It's covered in fucking barbed wire. I, lo I hope there's a moment in the game where they're all standing around and being like, maybe we're the real creamers. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if I turn into one of those things, you gotta promise you're gonna kill me. Kill me before I start creaming each and every one of you. <laughs> so that was my idea. I'm gonna get out of the pool now. Aww. It's so hot. It's, I understand why. The temperature makes you want to die. Keep, keep up the good work. Uh, Thanks. Is, is somebody else getting in the pool? Get him a thin. Uh, get him, get a, him a small thin towel. <laughs> yeah. Cover it. Use, like, use it to block the camera's view. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Speaking of creamers. <laughs> Can I hit you with an idea from Joseph Connolly, Sulky Joe on Twitter? Uh huh. Absolutely. Says. A puzzle game where you have to find the worst way to eat a given food. <laughs> that sounds good. So, How could it go wrong? You put it in your mouth. There's no... Press conference thing. Ah. Uh, no, no, we, we proved this week. That's not true. There the, is a bad way to eat. 
foods. Yeah. Well, it's the worst way to eat it. So I'm worried I ha I've hurt my brand again. How come? I used, made well. I made a hundred vor jokes, okay. and then that's all people want to talk to me about. Mm -hmm. And then you eat one banana silly, and then uh, I'm on the E3 show floor, and somebody throws a banana at me as hard as they can, and, and it hits me in the neck. You yeah. shouldn't yeah. have changed your middle name to What I respect. What, I, what I that is that. true. That That'll, a that's mistake. bad gimmick. I really do enjoy though that like. What you did with the whole Vor thing was to kind of do. You remember at the end of the Prestige when he's like, "I'm going to do exactly a hundred shows of the the true teleporting man." You're like, oh, "I'm yeah. going to make precisely 100 Vor jokes and then never make one again." Yeah, it There's was something respectable. A about genie that. put a curse on me, and I had to do a hundred. <laughs> hundred exactly. of them. Let me drop this one right on you. It's from Beck. It. Breck. Breck. It's from Becky. Brexit. <laughs> it's from Brexit. It's from Brexit. The concept. That's no good. Becky Graves, Giggle Loop, says, Dramatical Mordor, orc dating sim visual novel. Which orc will be the one for you? Press B to dominate is absolutely still a Of course option. it is. It's DMMD 101. Unfortunately, that game exists, and it's coming out. It's being published by Did Monolith. you say unfortunately, or did you say um, I don't want to disappoint the nice people on Twitter <laughs> who want to make games. Everybody wants to fuck Bruce the orc. Everyone. Bruise is such a good name because it it's Bruce, which is extremely masculine, and then it's got a bruise thing to mm -hmm. it. So it's almost like a, a Nintendo caliber pun. Okay, but also then he's sensitive. He wants to be dominated. Yeah. He is your sub orc. Everybody. I think that's beautiful. Everybody is really into this big fun orc, mm -hmm. and it makes me wonder about how bad like romance gets fucked up in games a lot, where they just like say like you know. You got no reason to kiss me, but just like do it. Yeah. I but we make one me. big, big, nasty orc. It makes me think that maybe Bowser's. What? You could do like a sexy Bowser yeah. uh, game. It's called Bowser. I mean, <laughs> it's called, exists. yeah. All the Mario games could be reinterpreted as a romance if Mario is on his way to the castle and then realizes that Bowser was his love all along or that they all love each other. Is, is that what happens at the end of the Mario games? I've never played one. How about it? Maxwell about X Summer Patamon says, Jeff Keighley versus Reggie Fisame, where they finally just fucking fight each other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if uh, people at home know, but Reggie these... would crush him between his legs. Now, hold oh, on. Don't, skip. don't jump the gun now. Okay. First of all, Explain. he'd have to get Jeff between those thighs, and Jeff's not going to fucking just a squirrely just one. He's, he's, a slick one? he's a slick one. I imagine he's a slick one and a squirrely one. I watched, uh, I tuned into their Jeff Keighley's Live at E3 Game Slice uh, segment where he played arms against Reggie, yeah. and it was punctuated by, at the beginning, a no-joke eight-minute segment of them standing next to each other recounting every time they've ever played a video game against each other and arguing over the first time they ever fought each other and who won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then, I, no joke, I saw three different, I saw three more Reggie appearances on streaming things where he referenced how bad he beat Jeff Keighley at arms. Yeah. I'm telling you there's a real Long beat. Long-standing rivalry. It's legitimate. I also like the part where when they were playing arms, Reggie Fisamel, uh like was about to, uh, he punched Jeff and he pretended it was an accident. He punched his head completely off his <laughs> body. Came off. But then it was robot parts in there and Jeff Keighley stood up behind him and attacked him with a sword, but the sword bent. I Do want you... you to justify to me, is Jeff Keighley angry enough that he could physically dominate Reggie? No, in no universe could that happen. But do you ever think about what those two could accomplish if they just worked together? They and teamed really up. Sad? Yeah. Yeah. There'd be no I think more. they could really turn this one, this thing around. What thing? My, my life. <laughs> <laughs> Simone, what are you thinking about? Because you gasped, and I want to know what that means. To just be imagining. About... I, mean, I think I was thinking about being Jeff Keighley and Reggie Fizeme's therapist. That's okay. a good game. I was thinking about game. sitting down in a room. Sitting down in a room with them and talking them through their issues. Together is this or like separately? Is like a visual novel style thing? Have you or seen is this the show? Like a quick time event thing? Have you seen the TV program Hannibal? Yes. What if we had a situation going where Reggie was Hannibal and maybe Jeff is the what? Will Graham? And so Who's Jeff Keeley. Jeff Keeley. Did I? Can you pour some of your drink? The I Hannibal. Hannibal. Can Reggie. You pour your drink in my drink. Reggie. They need therapy. So what I'm saying is, oh. Jeff Keeley's going to his therapist every day, complaining about this big, yeah, muscly yeah, 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 Nintendo yeah. man who makes his job hard. Mm. Little does he know, his this, therapist man, is the perpetuator. You're imagining a world in which Reggie Fizeme is in the face of Nintendo, and I don't. Or is just. Or he could be disguised in any way, which is a complete fiction. There's nothing you could <laughs> add until we master like cloaking tech. He's wearing a tech. funny hat. Yeah. Okay. Did you guys watch Breaking Bad? <laughs> Fix it in post. Fix it in post. We'll give you the patch. That was a fun sound. Just listen. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I'm going to throw up. Simone, I'm. Oh, boy. 
a human plunger. <laughs> I can feel my nutrients just leaving my body forever. Yeah, I can actually Is feel the nutrients hard? leaving your body and entering mine. Just Nick's this. taking my nutrients. Yeah, I'm sapping. Tara. Tara, Nick's taking my nutrients. Oh, again. Calm down, I'm coming. Uh, Tara Long, you said you had a good game for us. I see, now I feel like you're hyping it up too much. It's, it'll be the best one so far, because so far it's been real toilet. Trash. All right, tell me what you think about this. What is the best part of No Man's Sky? I mean, I think I know what you want me to say. Inventory management. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm listening. Next. Get my attention. So we just like. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole idea. You are the weirdo. Like, put me in, coach. And all you wanted to do is <laughs> dunk on management. No Man's Sky inventory <laughs> management. <laughs> hey, you know what? People, what's people's favorite thing about Mass Effect 1? The load times, right? Guys, the elevators, hello. I'm just saying, like, think of, I've been dealing with a lot of spreadsheets throughout mm. E3, and yeah. I was like, what if there was a better way? Yeah, yeah. I feel like you guys are making fun I'm of me. I'm not. And I I'm not at all. Not. These are real things I think about all the time. I brought a really good idea to the table, so, and I frankly don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. This. I'm gonna entertain. I think there's something to this. So you've been doing spreadsheets. No Man's Sky's all its inventory management is done with like a knockoff Destiny moving a circle around a screen thing. If you were doing, I'll take this. If you were doing the spreadsheets with a circle that you aimed with a right analog stick, that could be fun. That could be fun, be fun, fun, be fun. for your day job. By itself. What if you were a spaceship and your body was a spaceship and you had to manage the inventory of your life? So it's like you have to pick up the apples to fill your tummy, and then mm -hmm. your tummy powers your. I just that the, but the you can topical only... no man's sky stuff is just I'm really struggling with you it because I thought we'd all moved on, sort of collectively. You can stack the apples. We could stack the apples as one. Yeah. Am I the only person on Earth who's still playing No Man's Sky? But potentially, which is sad to me because it's an infinite universe, and you're the only one. You're the yeah, only that's, one. There. I think that's you part like, of what appeals. I found Terra. To me about I found it. Terra's planet two ten. Who wants to come <laughs> visit it? And it's like two ten. It's the two hundred and tenth planet that you found a name. I named every think... planet I find Terra Dice. <laughs> <laughs> After the failed Tara Reed show. Okay. On the E network. Thank Tell me you. everything about this show that I've never heard of before. Paradise. That's literally all I know about it. Here, what if I hand you my cell phone, Tara, and you read the jokes you think are good? <laughs> Please don't. Oh, I so did something low. and everything. It's okay. Just any of those jokes scroll. I don't like this phone. First of all, there's not even a case on it. <laughs> Tara, there's not you... even a good case on it. <laughs> Do I want me to grab your phone and we can? Oh God, we have to show. Can America. we? Because if you drop I've my phone, somebody get Tara's phone. I think it's over there. Literally it's, made I've, this into. It's right there, right? That's it. I've been dealing with this personal crisis. <laughs> <laughs> this has been my whole existence. Me and Tara have been working Tara, together. The, Tara's this is the Dick's water she, She's the only this person is, still playing No Man's Sky. She's the only person. Don't spoil it. Whom. So here's her cellular phone. Uh, this is a iPhone. What is this? this? You got a you got a 5S recently, right? No, it's an SE. I had a 5S an SE. before, and I specifically got an iPhone SE because it is the same size and, and shape as so the 5S, so, so that close I could to the water. keep <laughs> this cell, cell phone, phone case cover. that you've had since we worked together in the 20. I think 2013 is when you got this case. It's Watch Dogs <laughs> One. It's a case based on Watch Dogs <laughs> One, the first Watch Dogs game. Not a good computer game. I reviewed that game when we worked together. Tara, no, and you it. know what? It doesn't have a great inventory management system. <laughs> Oh, PowerPoint roulette now. That I like. All right. What's it say? That's it. That's, That's it? it? Oh, no. What does that sound? What, I, you like, I like the simple pitches. You like a two-word pitch. I like a two-word pitch. If it has some kind of built-in Microsoft software, even better. Seemingly, there's a spreadsheet in just general productivity and, and Microsoft works component that you find appealing. Yeah, when I you, take a lot of Adderall. When you hear PowerPoint roulette, what pops into your head? That What made you like that so much? I liked um, the part about PowerPoint. <laughs> For me, it's got sort of a Dilbert before he was very problematic vibe. Okay. Pure Dilbert. Classic Dilbert. That before pure we knew. uncut shit. Yeah. Uncut Colombian Dilbert. That sounds so dirty. It sounds so right. Uncut, to me. uncircumcised Colombian. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Um, <laughs> Someone just spit a drink. Quick straw poll. Tara Long, Dilbert, circumcised or no? <laughs> I and I'm not asking if he is. I'm asking what you would prefer. <laughs> I feel like Nick, in- Nick, I'll get to you next. Okay, because I, I know like, what I'm. I feel like something kind of in between. <laughs> You're talking about a real bus, a bus, a bus job, like a diagonal. <laughs> Sort of like a fucking Schro- Schrodinger's dick. Like what kind of? Sort of like a how is it both? Like a spaceman's oh. helmet that the vice got pulled up on. <laughs> like a fucking trash can lid with the door that's yeah, really you push in. it in. Push. Fucking shit! This shirt is part of me now. Oh my God. This imagery is really turning me off. <laughs> I need to leave the hot tub. Oh, Maybe I should get out. Maybe this is Maybe of we the should all get out. of my it's time in the hot tub and degrees. of my time on Earth. We're not going to top that. We do 52 episodes of the show a year, and we film the one where we're physically <laughs> melting in none of the other episodes. We do like 51 dry episodes a year, and then we turn on a camera for oh the one where God. our pores are wide open. Oh, fuck. It goes down, huh? Yeah, that last step's a killer, isn't it? You ready for my game? <laughs> yes! Don't tell them first. Oh, wait, Hella Chopper. Justin's gonna tell Whisper to America what the game idea is. Just ends 2018. There's no way they heard that. You ready? Your body's so cold. You ready? Oh, oh that's nice. What is it? Why would you put that in? Coming back for another lap, huh? How would you guys feel about just ants? It's gonna be 18. Just A N T S or A N T Z the movie or A N T M or A U N T S. Just ants. Just ants. Just ants. You guys do something funny with that. Just ants. 2018. Go. Okay. Oh god. It's motion controlled, so you have to bend your body down and eat a picnic. Okay, you crawl around. It's so please you crawl in a I line. I feel great. This was very nice, actually. Look at this. Do you see this like tornado of steam? That's just. Do you see that perfect? That's my. That's my soul, soul. <laughs> leaving my body forever. Just ants. I can't believe that's what you've done. That was. <laughs> that was it. Just ants. Do you have just another one? <laughs> Maybe I should have gone last. Just well, Dance 2017? Is that better? It wasn't the numbers, not the problem. <laughs> you're picking, yeah, you're picking at the Say scab. something funny about, like, Garfield's butt. <laughs> How about BC's taint? <laughs> How about the Lockhorn's mons pubis? Maybe, like, the far sides. And then, but, say, butthole. Yeah. Foxtrot's butt. <laughs> Comedy environment. Bocce, bocce. <laughs> Sorry I didn't save your show, pool idiots. <laughs> I'm sorry we didn't play with you in the space you created. Well, just ant. Just, just ants. ants. 2018. All right, Nick, let's put the old college try on this one. It's a D- game with DRM where if you are not the sister of a person who has a child, you can fuck off. Okay, so you need to physically be an aunt. It's Halo 6, but if you're not the sister of somebody with a kid, go to hell. Go fuck yourself. Master Chief says that you turn it on and it's like, you're not an aunt. And Master Chief like pulls up his visor and you see his fucked up face for the first time. He's like, ants only. <laughs> and then the, gate, the disc explodes. Which is cool because on the one hand, you do get to be the first to see his face. But on the other hand, no computer game. No computer you, game. Like, and that's a bad trade-off. I bet Master Chief with his visor up looks a lot like Dilbert's dick. <laughs> is it time? I feel like if I get out, you guys will end it. That's true. That's a good You're doing a mercy game. killing on our audience, basically. Well, folks, we hope you've enjoyed this uh We've been filming for five hours, yeah? It feels like it. I don't really have a... I can't... Uh, I don't know what time does anymore, like, in terms of if it's... Or whether we did any. This video may very well be two minutes long. It's just Tara talking about Dilbert's dick. <laughs> and if that's the case, it wouldn't yeah. even be the strangest piece of video content we've no, published this God, week. God, no. But if but thank you for watching Dilbert'sDick.FLV. I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> Are we... Can we done? I just dropped my lighter in the pool because I saw a roach over here. You saw a cockroach? Yes. 
I might not get out of this pool. Bye! So this has been Pool Games Inc. We did it a second year. We won't do it a third year, probably. You know, based on the reaction to this one. Right. A lot of dislikes on this video. A lot of dislikes, mostly from the, sort of the Dilbert creators, uh, Army of Angry. Scott's, uh, Scott's boss. Scott's, 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 Scott's friends. Um, Thank you for watching. Think sorry, twice I mean, before you ask us every day for a year to do a sequel to a video. <laughs> this is what fucking happens.